hello welcome back to another episode of our franchise zoo my name is Soraya and today I'll be your host um, I am a planet zoo builder from the Netherlands and today we'll be working on the new habitat of the uh, M's buck so yeah let's dive into it last time we made this wolf habitat uh, the video went up uh, when I was recording this episode that we are working on now so if you have placed comments about the wolf and I haven't seen it, seen it yet you know and I am not <laughs> saying anything about it you know what why that is um, yeah because we are doing something else now at this moment so we'll go, get, go back to that when we are ready to go back to the wolf probably next episode just gonna delete this one just gonna delete some things um, we're going to see what we're going to do with this habitat I don't know if I like the shape of it because it's kind of weird, right? And the fence is all weird. And I stored the animals in our trading center, so they are fine. Just going to edit the barrier. And say go around and then I'm gonna delete this and then we're going to see what we're going to do <laughs> with this habitat I'm just gonna delete this path as well and I made these little signs just for me so I know where the continents will be we've got Africa that's going to be here and we have um, Asia coming in here so that is just for me um, of course we're going to make a nice entrance to every area but for now we will do with what we have now um, so for the get the path for the animals um, what shall we do? I think I'm just going to start by having probably a viewing point right here. The same level as the ground. I think that is just fine. And we're probably going to connect it up here, but maybe we can connect it up there as well. We'll see what we're going to do in a moment. And do we want another viewing area? I can make this bigger. I don't. I think one viewing area is enough. And we're going to start by placing one-way glass here because I think the animals would like that this way they will have their privacy Fence continue downwards there. Uh, we need to have this one a bit more go this way, and then we need to make this a bit smaller. I think I'm gonna let it curve along just have a small 
section right here and then oh <laughs> okay uh, that was uh, kind of weird just trying to get this look nice a bit can go straight here again. You can make this longer. Just using the glass one now. That's just for purpose of creating the outline of our habitat. And this one needs to go up a little bit. And of course, we're going to have a nice fence here as well. I think we could just choose this one, this area as well. I, th I think that's not a bad thing to do. That way it will fit in with the area. So I'm going to create this uh, outline of the habitat, this fencing, and I will speed it up and I will be back with you later when we're done with this. So see you in a bit. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. the outer, outside of the fence now we just need to uh, get the viewing area here um, so I think we're going to delete these view right here 
and then um, I guess we can work with this one and then we're just going to get back this higher and then we'll get this beam to go like this and go to the other side and I want it to go to this on the top as well we'll use the glass of the fence for the glass <laughs> just going to edit this one right here so we just need to have it up to this beam so that's good this is good just checking if it doesn't stick out and now we're going to continue our build and I think we're going to use the beams to put right there. Now we just need something down here. Con create Friendly. This is called. This is a new world girder. I think we need this one. I think these ones are too long. So we're going to do this. Now we can copy the, these two and then we can place them here. Hey! Last time I did that, it didn't work. I couldn't do this. <laughs> Just a bit. We want it to align, of course. See, it's going. That's something that can be so annoying in this game. If it does that. I think this way we have a nice modern looking uh, viewing area and yes it is simple but I think that's okay we just don't have anything that look represents the animal that is in here so that is awesome nope it's not so what we need now is maybe a little bit of an overhang so if it's going to rain people can stay dry underneath it. I think we should do that. We just need to figure out how we want to do that. Um, 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we have for this? We can use to make something nice. We can use these ones again. Let's make that dark. We can... Let's make something here. I just want to align it. Just like this, this is a two meter. I think I'll go for like two six meters and then have one going down again. Just like this. I think I'm gonna make it its own bill. Just so we also have some different <laughs> um wonder if this may be too big that is two separate build things so I hope that way we don't get too many pieces We should have it like this. I don't know what's here, so I'm gonna select these, place them more to the corner there, and for this part, I want to use the longer one again. Then this is okay. Let's see how does this work. I do like it. I think we can do something like this. We can just copy this, these two. This way it looks like bit of a divider they have one way panel glass now I didn't see that before that's amazing what? I don't need this we don't need this one anymore the defense for it then that way we can make it look even better so we can now make, I didn't see that before, oh my gosh, <laughs> it came, probably came with the new pack, uh, the new update, oh my goodness, it's so awesome, um, I need to have it in this one. <laughs> We don't need it in this part. We can now use these. Live for real. This is awesome. We might need to adjust some part, of course. 
but for now we're just going to do it like this and then this one goes right there We went far, I was looking at the blue line. But we don't need to do that, right? We don't need to look at that. I think this part will only be a bit weird. Because this is a bit smaller. I think we can fix that a little bit just by placing something at the other side as well. Just like that. I think that's less weird. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh wait. I was looking for the new stuff things, but oh, we haven't researched it, of course. And you need to probably need to research. Yes, you need. <laughs> yeah, we can look for a long time. So I think I'm going to finish this part up when we have that um, stuff. Uh, researched because I think I want to use some of those things for this building so the outside I will continue on later so for now let's focus on the habitat itself we need some kind of stable and I think we can use this as a um, as a oh, okay. Never mind that. Um, we're just going to start something new, and we're going to speed up this part again. See you in a bit.
just going to copy it and hope they have not enough shelter and otherwise we can always copy it again we just need to get rid of this piece right here but I do think I'm gonna get this part out and move it to the side maybe we want to use it what do, oh I have a window right here <laughs> I was just checking what I had there look weird we've got all these people in this habitat people it's not you're not supposed to be there mmm so I guess we need to get the animals back into their habitat. So we are going to select them all. We got even babies. Ooh, babies. Okay. So it probably takes some time for them to be <laughs> dropped there. Oh, okay. They're, they're gone now. That's awesome. And I do think I will keep the education boards for now. Sorry for the noise at the background, by the way. That is the dryer that is working. So again, I apologize if it's a bit annoying. Okay, so let's wait till the, all the animals are in there. While we are waiting, let's make sure the barrier is okay. Oh, <laughs> this wasn't the attention. Because here it is not on the right side of the wall. So they may say, it is, has escaped. Well, it's not, it's really, it's not really escaped. So, we don't want that. Right. So I guess the animals are in. Let's see what they want. They need a lot of sand. So I think we can like, start with the sand base and then continue on from there so uh, yeah I'm gonna lower down the intensity and the size of the thing so we just gonna add some sand here as well so <laughs> may not look nice outside of the bear of the habitat but it will come later just gonna mix it all up a bit i think we're going to do some soil right here they come in here a lot of, of course so oh we see here a piece of the barrier fixed so let's continue on the ground maybe have some rocky ground coming through peeking through and let's have a few patches of grass as well Because they like to have some grass, they don't mind it not to be there. But I think it looks more natural when there is some. Just like that. Let's have a few spots with long grass. Something like this. And then we're going to filter it and then I'm gonna say blueprints of and now we're going to make 
it. We are really, we are really going to make it look very nice. I like these new trees, by the way. They're pretty details, and that's what I like about it. And what I also love is this this new grass that they added in a new DLC pack. Oh, I really love this pack, guys. The new one. It's so awesome. They really, uh, yeah, redeemed themselves. Just the last DLC pack that was a bit of a disappointment for me. So yeah, this is very nice. We actually had a lot of things we can use for building. Which is great for our builders. This community. Tomorrow I will get my vaccine shot. My first one. I think I would like some rocks in the habitat. I think they would appreciate it as well. I think it looks nice. It doesn't, it makes the, the area look less flat. And of course we need some stuff for them as well. I think I'm going for this type of bedding. I think that fits the desert environment more than just leaves. Green ones, so I think this is better. Let's add a bigger one. And of course we need some um, enrichment items. Property, no species. I need that. Um, G, 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 there. Okay, so we have this tree. Let's use this one. I think that one fits better with the animals. I really like these enrichments that just looks like it's just a normal tree. Nothing special about it. Just gonna random place these things. A feeding spot. I distribute that as well. We have a water fountain right there. I don't think we really need uh, a water feature in this habitat because they are desert animals and I think this will suffice. Um, gonna add another one. I'm gonna add one here as well. So I hope they like that. And uh, yeah. And I hope you have liked this build as well. I think I'm just going, only thing I'm going to do is placing the door a bit more in here. Just like that. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> just let make it fit more. So yes um this will in include the episode for today and the next one will continue on making this overview area or overhang thing uh i will let the game run for a bit i really think this will be it looks very nice with the rest of this area um the same style same colors I think that is very nice. Uh, I hope you like it as well. If you think it is too much of the same, you can put it in the comment section. Maybe we can tweak some things then if 
a lot of people uh, are saying the same thing um, yeah so the next time maybe we have an answer for what we are going to do with our timber wolf um, I think I'm going to um, move these two habitats to a different area and we'll have to see what we're going to do with the rest of this plaza so if you have any ideas for that leave it in the comment section and even if you have a nice uh, building that would fit in here perfectly on one on one of those spots you can put the link to it in a this in the comment section as well and maybe I will place it and I'll, of course I will mention you uh, that it that you made it and I would put the link to the workshop in the description box so all credit will go to you I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my content subscribe to my channel and that way you will be notified of any new content also if you would like to see other games we also have a city skyline series running I will put uh, a link to the video in the screen around this time and I will also put a link to our newest series of Transport Tycoon maybe you would like that as well um, it is a game that I haven't played in a pretty long time and I've decided to play it again and share it with you guys so <laughs> I hope you can enjoy that and if you want to see more of Planet Zoo you can always head to our Hyba Zoo series that is a sandbox zoo so we can really get creative with that one it's a Japanese inspired zoo so if you like that head over there otherwise I hope to see you all in this next episode until then Stay safe, stay healthy and take care. Bye bye. Love you all.